guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'd love for you to join the family. If you're back because you've been here before, welcome back. Um, I'm so excited. This year, I totally did a non-traditional like approach to Easter. With everything going on, um, we're home a lot more and uh, we just need activities and we need things to do because um, the girls just want to be active. So we've been doing some stuff at home, but I figured if I could find more things to do, I'm gonna do that. So I uh, went and I found these huge totes. Let me try to take them apart really quick so that, Ugh, you guys can see it. Okay, these are like really suctioned together. Hold on here. Oh, okay. I know that I got them apart before. Okay, seriously. Hold on. They're moving, I think. That was my workout for the day. Okay, so I got two different totes. And what's really fun is this one matches a Novalee's bedding. And then Kelly Rose is really into like mermaids right now. Um, and so I got them each this huge tote from Walmart. And guys, they were so reasonable. Um, I have had these hiding in the closet for a while now because I didn't want the girls to find them and I haven't been going to the store, so they've been hiding in the closet. <laughs> okay, does anyone else hide their kids' stuff in the closet or is it just me? So this one is for Kelly Rose and this one's for Anovely. And now they're not gonna be like full over full, like overflowing. I still have their Easter baskets from last year and that's why I kind of wanted to do something that like I could use these all summer long, we can fill them with water, play like with water outside. Um, we can fill toys inside the house. We can uh, store stuff in it because it matches the room or the bathroom. Um, and so, or even like outside just to play. So last year's Easter baskets we'll still use for like a Easter egg hunt, which I'm not even sure what that's gonna look like. Um, that's why I didn't buy too many eggs because we have some from last year and I'm gonna be pulling that stuff out this week, um, probably tomorrow and doing that. So I didn't get a ton of candy either cause I didn't want it to store in my closet. So if I do go to the store again, cause we'll run low on food, is anybody else just like eating and eating and eating and eating some more? <laughs> cause you're at home like all day and my kids want to snack. So I'll probably pick up like a few little candies, but not a ton and then like snacks that I would have purchased Anyway, I'll probably like put in here as well, last minute. So here is what I got. Callie Rose is really into superheroes and I had a huge superhero. I had already rented the room out for her birthday for her third birthday party and I ended up having to cancel it. We're just not doing a party with like a ton of people around. We're just gonna do one at home. However, I still ordered like the costumes for her. So I'll give you guys an update on that in another video, but I did end up having to cancel her huge pool party. So I think she's understanding because she's still so young. Like we're still gonna celebrate it here and she's still gonna have so much fun here. And we'll maybe do like a friend birthday party once everything's okay to do that. So anyway, she loves superhero. So I found a Batman one. So I think that'll be really fun. And then it's like a sucker and it covers it and it comes with, I think two, unless there's one in there. So it comes with two suckers, which she'll love that. And then Anovali is like really into puppies. So I found this sky one. And so she'll love that. So there's one for each of the girls. Okay, then I found this, which I remember having like one of these when I was growing up. It says three plus, but my daughter's almost three and I think she can get it. So I think you'll, you can use like different colored pencils or different pens and then you like go around in a circle. Yeah, it's just called like spiral art. And so you go around in a circle and make this like spiral art. And so I thought that could be really fun. And it's kind of like a 
a storage inside it says and these are everything's from walmart just because it's a small town and that's what we have and i didn't order anything online this year um i did get the girls each water shoes every year we get like some type of water shoe that they can wear throughout the year um this one is for kelly rose and then a Novalee has like, ma I try to get them always matching things because it's just easier than this way. They both like it. However, the younger girls was like a darker pink and they didn't have this like lighter pink. But I think that they like match enough that they'll still like both want the same thing. Um, it is so crazy to see like how big these shoes are for my older daughter. I just can't believe she's getting that big. So I got those for summertime to go in the basket. And then since I've been working from home, Callie Rose keeps saying, I wanna work too, I wanna work. I'm working at like you, mom. And so I got her own little like notepad and it says Hoppy Easter and it's like a uh, unicorn on here. And so I think she'll like that cause I have a notebook that's similar to this that I work in. Well, similar to this, I mean, bigger, but you get the idea. Um, I did get, this for a Nova Lee's basket and I'm so excited. <laughs> Funny story, last year for Easter, my dad, their grandpapa, brought one like this and it was for Halloween and we're like, what is that thing? Um, and Kelly Rose thought that these rings, they were blow up, the one he got, like go on your head as a hat. And so she just thought they're hats, they're not even like a ring to put on it. But I think a Novali will love this. It's an Easter, um, it's a Easter. Yes, it's Easter, but it's a bunny ring toss game. And so they can play this game inside or even outside. And the rings this time are like plastic, whereas the other one, they were also blow up. So that'll be really fun. This one I'm so excited about and I kind of regret only getting like one. I think if I remember, I may go and get another one. How fun is this? They're little paddles and you can play racquetball or there's a ball. So there's like two little games that you can play. You can swing back and forth. And I may even try to like put a blanket up in the living room and have them like hit it over that. Cause I think that they'll both love this game. So that's like for both of them, but I'll probably put it in Cali Rose's basket okay then i got these two and i had to get the same color because i know that they'll both want the same one they light up isn't that so cool i think they'll just love this and so it's in like a bunny thing but it's just a ball so excited about these because my daughter loves to like throw the ball and once it lights up i know she's gonna love these my younger daughter in Ovalay loves that oh this is for kelly rose's little book that i had got her to work it's like a matching it's a unicorn and like if you turn it upside down i don't know if the camera can like pick it up but there's glitter inside she will love that and she really likes to say like rainbow and this is like rainbow colored oh my gosh i could watch the glitter all day so that's so fun okay and then i got this and I am like bound and determined one day to have like a huge garden and have like all my own vegetables, fruit, things like that. But like we don't have that space right now. So we have like pots, like these planters and I'll just do like an herb one. So like more of like the basil and cilantro and maybe even try tomatoes this year. Let me know like does do you have to have a huge pot for tomatoes or not? Comment down below, because I'm not sure, I haven't tried it before. But this is to water them, and the girls are gonna help me plant those this year. And so I got a little watering can for them. Then I got these little coin ones, the coin pouches. How cute are these? I'm thinking Kelly Rose will want the pink one, and Anovali will want this like mint color but they're super cute. They open up like you open the ears and they can put stuff inside of those. It doesn't even have to be money. Like they carry around little things so they could use those for fun. Then I got these fun straws, which I figured like I can put some in each of them, which is fun because they they're, they do a color change. So like as it's exposed to cold, they change color. So I figured we could use those in the summertime or for juice. Um, so that they'll each get some of those. Then I got 
two colors and they're like ombre. And I'm going to just split them with it between the two because I figured it like matches color wise with both of them. So I'll fill these up with like little goodies and like put them in each of the baskets. Then I got Play-Doh because let me tell you that we've been playing Play-Doh. My one and two year old love Play-Doh. However, they love to mix the colors and then my daughter wants like pink again or a specific color and I'm like, uh, it's all one color now. So I got a little bit more Play-Doh because that was on sale too. Then I got these fun little masks for the girls and I to wear <laughs> for Easter. They're super fun. They're, there's like three of them in there. Um, so I figured those would be like a cute little fun thing to wear. And then I am like obsessed with getting plates like this. I think I have them for every holiday now. I had to get pink and this mint because I feel like I was getting that for everything. So that's like this year's theme, I think, pink and mint. So I'm going to get each of the girls one in here and then like we'll probably bake something and put it on the plate because that's what we love to do. And then I've got them each snack bowls. How cute are these? Like they're the perfect size and color for little snacks. So I got them each a snack plate or bowl um, to use. And then these are the candies that I did pick up that I was okay with like keeping in the closet. Um, I got these like little milk chocolate Hershey Kisses. And I think they're like different color wrapped, yeah. And so I'll open this, these up and probably put them inside the eggs. And then they love when I buy them these treats when we go to the store. So I got them each one. Now, I am thinking like since it's not going to completely fill it all the way up and I'm okay with that. Like I think this is so much stuff. I think that they're going to love it. Um, I think what I'm going to do is use like tissue paper and like it's like them opening almost a present because I have so much tissue paper. But I'm so excited this year that I chose to do like buckets that we'll actually use instead of their Easter bas baskets that like, don't get me wrong, I love them. We use them every year, but we use them just for Easter. And I think that these I can really use all summer long, even during the winter, put some boots in them, keep them in the garage if I need them, keep them in the house if I need them, just depends. They wash easy and they were pretty reasonably priced at Walmart. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you guys are doing for Easter. If you guys are doing like the traditional Easter basket or changing it up like I did this year. Um, and then let me know what you guys think about what I got the girls. I still need to get a few candies, like I said, or snacks um, to put in the baskets, but I'm really excited for Easter. I think we need to do a few Easter projects. So I have that coming up uh, for the girls. We're just gonna do some fun art with them um, since we're home and we're gonna do the Easter egg hunt and we'll definitely bake something for Easter. I did pick up those like sugar cookies that are um they have bunnies on them so the girls will make those and we did bake the other day um which you'll see in the next vlog what we've done this weekend is going to be my next vlog i'm really excited to show you guys that but comment down below let me know what are you guys doing for easter this year we're just staying home but we're going to try to make it fun thank you guys so much let me know what you guys think about the girls non-traditional Easter baskets this year. I was super excited to share them with you. If you haven't already, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, share. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you join. Share my videos. I'm growing a little bit slowly here and I just love communicate with you guys. And I really appreciate every single one of you guys. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Okay, well, we're like really crooked. Okay, 